again, we're in a pandemic. There's gonna be a lot of properties available. You're gonna to have to fight, you have to compete, you have to get in there very quickly uh, because there are gonna be a lot of savvy people changing their life with real estate. There are gonna be a lot of people who might have more cash. I know that sounds strange. There's gonna be people who have more cash now because we haven't been spending cash on a lot of things. So just because we're in a pandemic doesn't mean people aren't gonna be competing hard for properties. We know when we see the property we really want, we gotta make an offer and we gotta make it fast and we gotta be ready to go quickly about this area, you can see the banners from Rutgers University are right there. So that enters a very high-end part of this town. Very high-end. Even though this is the inner city, that's a high-end part where you're close to a university, especially the main university in the town. Um, this whole area here, they are with the construction site. They are literally doing everything. You see these streets are doing right here. So the person probably wants to sell it, probably wants to get out of this market. For different reasons, who knows why? You know, it might just be hard to keep it up. They might not live here in the city. They might not want to deal with all the construction happening. For somebody who's long term, that doesn't phase you. That doesn't bother you because you're looking, you're playing a long game. You're not playing a short game. I don't play a short game in real estate. I can buy something, hold on to it, and then make my money five years later. But you always want something that's already generating revenue right away. So this is the whole building. And um, we're looking at a bunch of multi-units in the next couple of days to purchase. But you can see how all of a sudden it gets all brick. This is going to go back to cobblestone streets. This is all going to be cobblestone and brick. The brick are going to try to start exposing. Still needs a lot of work, like with the roof. The windows are new, though. We have a whole team that works on our properties. My mother right there is the manager of all our properties. But it's still really good potential. We just finished seeing a four unit, uh, not four unit, four bedroom, uh, and two baths. And so that was very interesting. It was configured like old school brownstone, uh, just like a maze of steps and up. And, uh, we already seen one unit here, which is like a studio efficiency. We've seen the commercial place over there. But what I was saying earlier is location, location, location. So don't mind going with me. This is all gentrification happening. You see all these nice brick buildings that seem like boarded up. This is normally a cobblestone street and all brick. They're redoing the whole area. So that's why this is a good location because in the long run, if you're a person that holds a property, you want to see how it's gonna look five, 10 years from now when your property will be assessed higher. So you buy low and then you want to make sure that the value of your property in the long term is higher. So this is right really close to Rutgers University. Uh, you can't really tell about the area, but you can see all the construction they're doing and making everything new. So this is a potentially a good buy. So when you look into being a real estate investor, you're always going to see your potential, your potential of the market, potential of the area, what's happening in the area. Are they remodeling it? Are they um, is there gentrification going on? You know, what's happening in the area? So some real estate tips today, you want to buy low, 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 low. You want a place that has equity already in it, and you want a place that already has cash generation, generating, um, pro, cash generating uh, revenue. Re yeah, that's good. Thank you. That doesn't <laughs> help. Yeah, revenue happening. So these two units are already rented, and both tenants are already happy. So that's good. That means if you buy the place, they'll probably stay with you as well. So that's what's happening. Is that if you're looking for properties, again, real estate is the best way to generational wealth. It's the best way to have financial freedom the best way for independence is something that you own forever you can pass down to your heir um, property always goes up it never goes down even if you think it's going down for a year or two years i've owned property since 1997 it always in the long run pays off you can refinance it you can mortgage it you can get a loan against it you can sell it if you really need in a in a tight position so always into real estate my real estate tips today The potential in the area and it's already generating five figures right this second without us having to do anything it's a different type of property right here by a bank so you know they're always going to be building different type of place totally different reasons why i will look at this place totally different it's not by a university but it's by a very busy district I already own a bunch of houses on this street as well, so that always plays a role. 
keeping your properties together. Um, they have a tax service business. You can tell they have people already live here. You see mail in the mailboxes. Different reasons why I would look at this place. Totally different reasons. Real estate, you look at everything. Right now we're looking at all the structural damage, if any. We always get an assessor anyway to assess the place. So you get an assessor and you get an appraiser. Sometimes you even get a structural engineer. Hope you guys have a blessed day.